Hi all, welcome to another refurbishment video. This is a HP ProDesk G3 400. I suppose you could call it a mini desktop, desktop computer because it's quite got a quite small footprint. So looking at the front, it's got a DVD rewriter drive, two USB 3 ports, microphone and headphone sockets, that's the power switch, and it's got a very small intake fan on the front so moving around the back quite easy with this case uh, those are the two aerials from the wireless card which I've added uh, that's the output from the power supply a small fan on that it's got uh, USB ports on the back it's got VGA and display port for video output uh, it's got Ethernet socket there and it's got the older style mouse sockets as well um, to get into this case quite easy just one knilled screw that you undo and then this panel just lifts off like so now this is post upgrade so I'll talk through the spec as I go along and the motherboard wasn't too dirty or dusty so I still gave it a bit of a clean I took the CPU cooler and fan off and reapply the thermal paste after cleaning those up So this machine spec is an Intel i5-6500 CPU It's got 8 gig of DDR4 RAM running in dual channel so two sticks of 4 gig It's got a solid state drive and a 500, 500 gig hard drive and a wireless card Now there is a PCIe slot for a low profile graphics card but I decided against that because I think as you'll see in the benchmarks the chips own internal graphics are good enough for that and you can actually apply additional system memory to those graphics in the BIOS which I've done it was a little bit tricky to get all these cables fitted because I tried to keep them away from that intake fan and also I discovered there's only two SATA data ports on the motherboard so I had for the additional hard drive I had to use the one that was used for the um, the DVD writer drive and that's not a problem because those writer drives can be bought as external ones and they're, they're relatively cheap anyway right so what I'll do is I'll get this machine started up and run a few benchmarks and that will be in the next video don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment if you've got any questions about this build thanks for watching 